taking on directing a film is obviously so daunting. Is that something where it's like, great, I directed a film, and maybe if another one comes along, or do you feel now like, I can't wait to make my next film? I don't feel like that. I feel um, like really, like if you asked me, if you told me I was starting to direct a film tomorrow, I'd be like just full of dread, I think, because uh, because I don't know, because I until you've got a story, like I couldn't do it, like it took me 15 years because I don't think I could do it just for the sake of doing it. So if one of my agents called me and went, look, we've got this great script, you've been offered to direct this. And I read it and it was a great opportunity or it was a huge budget or it was a huge payday or something. Right. I still don't think I could do it because it's so costly. Uh, in a way, directing it's so it's it's like carrying a baby for eighteen months that that you're worried people are going to come in and change or mess it, change your baby. Yeah, and it won't be your baby anymore. You know, they'll it'll have red hair and not brown hair and blue eyes and not brown eyes, and they're going to change bits about your baby. So for eighteen months, you're sort of like this. I don't know who you're scared of changing it, but. You, you're and you're scared. You want it to be your baby. You want it to be you. Right. And it's so costly. Like for 16 months of my life, this was it. It was like American pastoral, like this. And I have my family and my kids, and I was like trying really hard to be a human being amongst them. So the idea of doing it again, of course, I want to because I loved it. But I, I need the story first. I need to know. Oh, this is this is what I have to do. I have to tell this story. And until I've Till I've got that, I can't imagine doing it again, really. Um, I, I, I acted in, we did the train spotting sequel since I finished right. this film. So I directed, you know, I was in that play. I became the, act, the director of American Pastoral and I was on that for 2015 into 2016. And then I went off and did train spotting as an actor. And I would walk Talk off about set. Talk full circle. Like I'd, yeah, I'd walk off set and I'd go back to my trailer and I'd, listen to the radio and I'd have a little nap and I'd read the newspaper and I'd go back on set and I realised how much time I had. Like, it was unbelievable how luxurious it is to be an actor. <laughs>